Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. It's just another video on Ed and hopefully I can help some of you guys out there as well who have the SPI, the single point injection mini and are having some problems with it. So if you've seen my last video on Ed, it broke down. I had him running really well. Over the last two years he's been a bit inconsistent. Sometimes he'll run fine, other times he'll... he'll um, hesitate on acceleration, he's over fueling, there's just a few niggly things and rather than taking him to get a diagnostic or buying the diagnostic machines which are second hand in the range somewhere between two and four hundred pound I thought sensors are cheap, I'll buy some sensors, I'll buy some vacuum hoses because if they're new it'll give you peace of mind and they're a lot cheaper than buying a diagnostic. So. I did do that, but there's only so many sensors you can replace and you can then replace items on the ignition system, which I did, fuel system, which I did, because ultimately I want as many new parts as I can, but there's some things you need to test, like the electrics, the, the relay box, you know, there's, it goes on and on, it can start running into a lot of money. So I thought, it would be good to have a diagnostic machine but I wasn't prepared to spend that kind of money at the moment because I'm spending a lot of money on my other projects as well as Ed and that's when I've had some viewers through my YouTube channel through my Facebook group and the general community tell me about this so there are apps you can buy for the SPI and the MPI that you can download from the Play Store on Android and these apps are MEMS Lite and MEMS Diagnostic and what they do is they help diagnose any fault codes with the running of the, the system and they also give you live data. Now the cable which I bought off eBay, see this end here, is the one that plugs into the terminal in the engine bay which I'll show you in a minute. The other end is a USB. So the USB doesn't plug into a phone, but I've got the adapter for a USB and um, it then plugs into your phone. So that cost me $24.99. You could buy the connectors, the wires, make your own, but I thought, peace of mind, I'm busy enough as it is, I'm happy to pay $24.99. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, I've, I've not lost two, three hundred pound. So I ordered that. <coughs> it came, obviously. <laughs> I downloaded the app, both apps, to, sh to see if I can get it running. I had a quick play about with it. I've not fully looked into it yet. Just a sort of quick play to see if it was working. And I thought I would share with you guys because for £25 plus the app, um, I've now got a good bit of diagnostic equipment for for Ed and it's a great money save and it's really handy to have so I'm going to show you exactly what I've done and how it works. So the two icons you can see on the screen here, one is for a MEMS diagnostic light and the other is for a MEMS diagnostic full up. The light one allows you to watch live data and check error codes. The full one allows you to do that as well, but it also allows you to manipulate a few of the figures like the RPM, various different things that I've not actually tested yet. The light one is free to download and the full one is £7.49, or it is at the time of making this video. I would just recommend getting the light one to start with to see if it works and um, if it does, £7.49 is a small amount to pay if you want to pay that for the extra facility. I'm going to go now and show you how it all hooks up to the car and I'll give some footage of it in action. So I can get a better look, I'll take you in closer. Diagnostic port is always around here behind the brake master cylinder and it should have a cap on there which just pulls off. 
and that's what it looks like there. This plug only fits in one way and push it until it clicks in place. When you're undoing it, squeeze these two tabs, don't pull by the wire because it'll disconnect and ruin your cable. Into the phone. So, for it to read the codes and the data, the engine needs to be running, so I'm going to get them fired up. into the diagnostic section. Apologies if the engine's loud. Buttons here, the bottom left will say connect. Asks for um, access to allow to connect. And we'll just scroll along the tip, the top. So the grid view second along here will give you all your live data. The next one along is a graph view, if you like your um, graphs and analytics. next one along here, which is specific to the full diagnostic one, is the tune view. And again, there's drop down menus here that tells you what you can select, what you can basically tell the ECU you want to see, or increase or reduce. And then go on to the ECU error codes. That'll tell you any fault codes that's either live or that's been restored and haven't been cleared. If you go to the top here, there's also preferences. That'll ask you here, and it'll ask you which MEMS ECU protocol version because there are various different ones for different rovers. So the one we are using here is the 1.3 for the, the Mini SPI or MPI. And that's it. Like I say, when you take this off, pull the plastic bit, not the wiring. Very handy bit of kit for the price you pay and hopefully it'll save someone a lot of problems diagnosing issues with the SPI. As you can see, there's bits in my engine missing just now because I'm replacing a few bits and pieces, that's why there's no air filter box on there. But um, hopefully this helps someone. If you've got any questions or input or you've used this before, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!